Welcome back to the shed. Today we're going to make a no gap bandsaw box. I haven't made one before but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Come on. If you haven't seen a bandsaw box before let's make one quickly. Start with a bit of wood and cut the back off. Lay it flat, add your design with pencil, then cut it out. This middle bit is going to become our drawer, so cut the front and the back off of that before cutting out a U shape. Then glue it together. Easy peasy. If you wanted to be fancy, you could add some shims to the drawer for a nice even gap. That's the problem with bandsaw boxes. They've always got a gap. This has a gap. This has a gap. This has a gap. This... Oh, that one's not too bad. Yeah, I'll cut that using a coping saw. Oh, nice. Very nice. We can't make the drawer bigger, so we need to make the box smaller. What would happen if we cut the box in quarters and glued it back together? That should work, right? Let's cut it on the bandsaw since it is a bandsaw box. Okay, getting closer. Let's push it through the bandsaw again. We only need the front of the drawer to be a tight fit to get a no gap finish. So let's tilt the sanding disc and turn this drawer into a wedge. It's not much better. It's really stiff. And look at these join lines, that won't do. I thought we were onto something with that wedge shape. Hold on a minute. If we turn our disc sander into a bandsaw, we can tilt the bed of the bandsaw and cut the drawer at an angle. This drawer fits the space really well. Let's sand the front flush and see what it looks like. Success! That's got a massive gap. That's got no gap. Totally useless drawer though. Let's call this a prototype. Before we rush off and make a pretty one, let's have a chat about wood grain. For this wedge method to work well, we need the grain of the wood to be consistent through its thickness. If it isn't, like this piece, when the wedge drops, the grain no longer lines up. See that difference? Miles away. Straight grain comes from quarter sawn timber, like this. We've got a bandsaw, so let's cut some quarter sawn timber. That looks like a lot of effort to go to when we could use plywood instead. Straight grain pattern all the way through. We're going to make seven plywood squares. I recommend using 90mm plywood to save having to do too many glue ups. Five of these get glued together like this and they will become the body of the box. While the glue dries let's set the bandsaw to 30 degrees and cut out this very slim bandsaw box which will become the box front and front drawer front. Check the grain orientation and use the box front to transfer a pencil line to the box body. With the bandsaw set back to 90 degrees, 
we can cut this template out just like a normal bandsaw box. Did anyone notice I didn't cut the back off first? I did that on purpose. One less line to join. Cut the walls of the drawer as thin as you dare to maximise the internal space. Time for the glue up. Find a nice flat surface. Add some glue to the back of the drawer front. Lift the box body into place without touching the glue. Now add the drawer assembly and weigh it down. Just to be sure, let's cross our fingers. Hold on, let me sand it first. Well, that was fun. I think oak would have looked nicer, but never mind. I'm not on Patreon, so feel free to send checks in the post or failing that, hit the subscribe button. I'll talk to you next time.